The last time I made a video about The Hunted, it was about three months ago in June. Now we're in October, past the date when the game was said to be released into private beta, and I'm pretty sure that most of you who have seen my last video are wondering what the heck is going on with their timeline. If you remember, originally the game was set to come out in late September of this year, 2023, and we were getting a bunch of announcements that were basically confirming that the release date would be between September 27th and the 30th. According to Blip though, they had completed everything they really wanted to do for the game on time, but they were having an issue with getting the servers created and that that would push the date back from the 27th and the 30th to sometime in October. With that out of the way, let's look at what the development team Team has been up to since my last video. The development team in general has changed a little bit since they started with new developers doing more animations and skins. They actually do quite a few dev streams in their discord so you can see them work in real time. The animals being released first into private beta are tiger, chimp, and rhino. Then next will be wolf, croc, gorilla, and bear. Private beta was set to last until new years when it would become open to the public. Like I mentioned earlier, most of the work that I've seen the team do has just been a slew of new and reworked animations. They honestly look so much better than they used to. I'm really glad that they took the time to get new developers who know what they're doing because I'm sure I'm not the only one who has high expectations for this game. The Hunted is no longer offering pledges, which were basically their donation rewards for people who donated early. They had some specifically to raise animal awareness and some were just skin packs or emote packs. As far as I can tell, these pledges really just give you early access to these animals and they should be accessible in the future if you want to play them. So you shouldn't miss out on playing any of the animals in the game, just some limited edition skins or emotes. We got our first look at Night Vision, which thankfully looks like it's going to be in color. And even our first diet food, which is gonna be bananas for chimps. We got tons of croc skins and even the Komodo dragon model. Honestly, what I'm most excited for though is these climbable trees that they are creating for the game. They definitely want to have combat in trees, not just something you can climb up. The Hunted has also confirmed future aquatic and semi-aquatic playables such as Capybara, Platypus, Bottlenose Dolphin, Killer Whale, and the Beluga Whale. And just to clarify for some people, the models themselves are not custom made. The skins, the grooming, which is the fur, and the animations are custom made. The Hunter does have a Steam page now that is pending approval, so if you don't see it when you search it up, that is probably why. I was definitely surprised when they dropped pictures of the human structures in the game, and I was even more surprised when they dropped pictures of corpses, which means that gore is going to be a big thing in the game. That's about it for this video. While I'm still waiting on a gameplay trailer, I am pretty impressed with what we have so far, or at least a little bit happier. Hopefully they keep progressing and we get private beta soon and I'll give you guys a review. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.